welcome back to my channel where I bring you mermaid related content to help you live life so mermaid and today is kind of a long-awaited video I'm gonna be reacting to the Mer Taylor's new fabric mermaid tails now being a fabric tail maker I get asked a lot of questions about other companies fabric tails which I always find really funny because I've only ever seen the Mer Taylor's tails up close once and I've only ever seen a fin folk tail up close once so I'm not gonna be commenting on anything in terms of functionality I am purely going to be coming at this from a design perspective because I have some things to say. So I'm gonna shrink myself down and we're gonna we're gonna pull up my screen and we're just gonna peruse his website and see what I think. Alright, so the Mertailor.com. Let's just let's just have a look see, shall we? Um Oh yeah, the Fantasy Fin 2. I think that's actually really cute. Well, because it's the Fantasy Fin 2. That's really cute. Um, now, my gripes with the website aside, I find some of the navigation to be a little frustrating and sundry. I'm not going to comment on any of that. We're going to look at tails specifically. Now, let's go under... Oh, wow. This is... Wow. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just preface this by saying I'm a huge fan. I know everybody's like, oh, competition and oh similarities and oh things and and what are you gonna do and and taking your business and blah 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 well you know what from a purely like an artistic perspective i think these tales are absolutely incredible i really do um let's just let's just kind of power through here all right whimsy is that what i'm looking for i have a feeling that's the one that's the one we're looking for whimsy you know get a little whimsy in your life oh yeah Oh, hey, I know that, mermaid. <laughs> All right. Um, bum, 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 bum. Exquisite fabric. Designed for the fantasy. Easy care instructions. Oh, that's a silicone tail. Made in the USA. I want to I wanna see some pictures. Okay, so the ones that everybody is asking me about are the koi. Um, the new koi mermaid tails. I think I'm going to look at the gold. This beautiful... I'm gonna just totally butcher the pronunciation, so I'm not gonna try. We're just gonna call it the beautiful gold one. <laughs> I just don't want to get it wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, so design-wise, I just I have no words to be totally honest with you. Um, I think in terms of functionality, if I can be totally blunt with you all, I think they're pretty ridiculous. I don't think that I would ever want one for myself because all of those extra fins would make me actually crazy. But I know the vast majority of mer people out there are really down with having like 75 different fins flowing and doing and things. Nah. So I could definitely see this being of interest to a lot of people. Now what I want to say is really cool um, for these tails, if you're actually looking at the construction, first of all the waistband is thicker than I've seen it on previous versions, which I'm a fan. Um, what is cool that I can see is that the front fins, the seam does not go all the way down the, the body of the fin. Which is important because honestly, it just looks so much better. And how on earth are you going to line up those scales if you ever have to cut into it? It's crazy. I don't know. Eh. No good comes of that. And then it looks like the, the hip fins and the other side fins are actually built right into the seam which looks really pretty. Now, of course, this is all just based off of what I can actually see here in this image. So if I'm getting information wrong, you're going to have to actually ask the Mer Taylor and see it up close, maybe if you can, if somebody's got one for you to check out, because I can only see what I can see here off the off the website. But I will say the texture is beautiful. The way that it's the way that it is finished. So the, the scales come down and they and then they progress into the fluke and I really like how they get a little small. There's different sized scales. Um, the contrast is really nice. Um, the colors that were picked are really nice. I, I, mm, yeah. Oh yeah. These ones were done. These ones were done right. Do you know what I'm saying? Now I think of the three, this one is probably my least favorite. Um, I'm not really sure why that is. What about it? I think it's something with this with the the fin the little fins. I think the little fins bother me a little bit, but I don't like I think if they were just 
up top if they were just wider apart. Now it might wear differently, so when it's actually on a person versus just your concept, because these are these are concept sketches. I'm assuming these are these are pieces of somebody's artwork, and then this is the actual version. Yeah, so they're still pretty close there. Um, just for my own personal preference, this isn't the one that I would pick for myself. It's still beautiful, um, and if you like it, power to you. It's beautiful. It's still a beautiful tale. It's just not my personal um, style. I think of these ones, um, I'd probably go with this beautiful, like, yellow and gold one. This one's also quite wild, and I think that the contrast on this one is just so epic. The, the pop and the, like, pow! factor are like really really intense with this one and I think it is absolutely gorgeous oh man but those fins guys oh good luck swimming just let me know how it works out for you mm -mm. I think the only thing that's a little weird um just just because I'm I'm you know design and, and painting and form is that now I have these on my tails as well where the base of the fin has the two lines that come across the stitched lines because I have no choice I have to make my foot pocket somehow right but I feel like for the quilted fins if you look really carefully you can see that the sewing doesn't match the actual design on the fin itself which isn't like the end of the world but it is something that would bother me, but I think, like, that's me being, like, a little bit nitpicky, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Now moving on to some of the other tales, I think the ones that grab me the most are the ones that have a nice, um, well, a nice color range, obviously, and most of his do, but a good contrast between those colors. Now what I mean by contrast is when you lean back and you kind of squint, how easy is it to read the different colors. Do they blend too much? Is it too, is it like, if you were to put, if you were to grayscale it, okay, I'm layman's terms here, I'm <laughs> sorry guys, if you were just to grayscale it, how, what would the values be, okay? Um, and for anybody curious, a good way to do that is to put, a, now this is like pro tip here, put a white layer over top of everything in Photoshop and set it to hue and you'll be able to see uh, what your values are very easily that way. Um, so I think the Sea Gem Whimsy Fantasy Tale, that's, that's the one. If I was gonna get one, I'd probably get that one. That is just absolutely to die for. I don't know... Mmm, you know, if I wasn't trying to make a living doing this, I would, I would be like, Mer Taylor all the freaking way. I have to say, because, now look at this, like, he meets the vast majority of my Mermaid Tale values, okay? So, we're looking for quality fabric. Now I know starting out, his weren't like the, there were some pilling issues. I know that Raina Mermaid talked about that in her, I think one of her reviews, but I, I, I hear now that they've gotten and the neoprene ones are a better quality. But what I like is so quality fabric, they're nicely put together. Even though the seams don't line up in the ones that I've seen exact, they're still closer than other um, competitors out there. I would also say, the contrast is really nice, and let's just a moment to just appreciate that he doesn't have a giant a giant pocket that just fills with water. <laughs> okay, like all of his tails fit the the monofin that he's created. Okay, like to a T, and um, I think that's the way to go. This having a giant now I know. Everybody likes big flukes and they cannot lie. I get it, I got you, I, I feel you, okay? But it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, that's just my personal and professional opinion. I think it's just a big no. Uh, you know what? I'm not dragging half the pool. I'm not gonna have a really uncomfortable piece of plastic riding up my ankles and the whole nine. This is just like, obviously I have zero experience with any other mermaid tails short of my own. So I am just going off of what people have said to me, okay? So just. Everything with a grain of salt, guys. Everything with a grain of salt. I don't want to step on anybody's fins, okay? So, coming back, um, I had talked about this in a live stream, the Moon Kelp Whimsy Fantasy Tale. There's another beauty. Oh, <laughs> so good. Mer Taylor, so good. What are you doing? Ma! Okay, seriously. Um, now this, so the Pirate Booty, um, you know, be it that I'm not the biggest fan of the name, I think is a really, really stunning one. Its version in black, The Hidden Dragon, is not quite doing it for me. 
it's not quite doing it for me. I feel like this one would have been better inverted um, if the black was the pattern and the body of it was like, it's just, if they just like flipped it, <laughs> I feel like that would have been better. The Ocean Spray one is again, another really beautiful one. Um, the Red Snapper one like is, is really pretty. It's very Christmassy. I think it came out around Christmas. I'm getting bing bonged. Um, Swamp Thing and Dragon's Breath, beautiful, very lovely. I think the contrast could have been higher on the Dragon's Breath. What I'm curious, and just based off my, how I would do it if I was professionally making these for a client, not a client of me, like I mean, like if Mer Taylor rang me up and said, I want one design in five different colors, I would make it grayscale and then I would add the color over top and change it to color and I would use various blending modes and then I would have to check all the Pantones and, and the whole thing and it would be a nightmare. But I think that's kind of what they've done here. Um, and now they have the, the good fortune of actually having their own printer, whereas I have to actually bring my stuff to a printer and uh, it's, it's a little more difficult for me to like test things out and experiment and whatnot. Um, Swamp Thing, beautiful mermaid tail. Dragon's Breath could be a little bit higher contrast, but still very beautiful. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. The Kraken one, I'm not, a, not the biggest fan of, um, but that's purely a color choice. I have, I'm not personally a huge fan of that like pinky purple blue combo and how, how it was used. I feel like the colors vibrate a little bit. Now I actually encountered this with a different um, tail. When the colors vibrate, it can be a little bit disorientating and just make you feel a little bit off and you don't really know why. Um, I had to do a couple of different tricks to keep the colors from vibrating on the one that I did. Um, but and I think it worked. I just feel, and I mean right at the top of the tail, I feel like it vibrates just a little bit too much. I mean, the fluke's beautiful. Um, Medusa's Revenge, ah, oh, stunning. Okay, so now um, the Parrot Bay, beautiful. These, now we're getting to an interesting area where I know it's the base is the same, I think, and they're just recoloring it, although I can see that that's not true of all of them. So these two look like they share the same base. Mm, this one looks like it's painted different, as is that one and that one. Um, splish splash, of course, every tail maker. We've got to we've got to have a splash themed mermaid tail in there. I've got one too. Um, Aqua fairy is pretty. It's not it's not you know singing to my soul. Um, same with the mahi mahi and these ones. I feel like these ones were obviously the initial kind of foray into this and they're beautiful, um, but they're just not to my personal taste. I mean, the Key Largo one's absolutely gorgeous. I do really like that one. Um, you know, uh, I think we're getting to the, to the end of it here. Oh, hello. This is the only one that I wouldn't, I just, I wouldn't do. Um, the Red Sea Whimsy Fantasy Tale, there is zero contrast, like, in areas where I think it is important. The dark, it's just very one tone all the way through. I mean, short of like a little bit and then a little bit at the fluke. It's just not, it's just not totally doing the thing for me, you know, but hey. Now I think that covered everybody. Um, I don't have a fantasy fin too, so I can't do a review. I hear that it's it's good, and I hear that it's faster than the fantasy fin. I would be interested to try it out just for the sake of trying it out, because this is me and I collect monofins, and goodness knows I've got so much money just kicking around now that I've dropped it all on my laptop. Uh. But yeah, I think that the Mer Taylor is making a really beautiful, beautiful product, and I'm very impressed. And Though I'm never going to be a huge fan of a billion extra fins, I do feel like the Koi ones, that's taking it to some kind of crazy new level, and I don't know that the Murtailer is ever going to actually see this. Maybe you work for the Murtailer and you're watching this. I don't know what you're doing here. How's it going? Um, these are really stunning. So you know, my hat off to whoever designed them. I don't know if he designs them himself or if he has a team. Um, that makes these for him. Whoever it is, whoever you are, boy, you've got mad skills. Like, you have got some serious, like, whew, you've got it figured out. So that has been my two cents, my little reaction, my little opinion, since people, I don't know why, 
they want to know. I make my own tails, guys. I'm not using anybody else's tails, but but I do, you know, peep around, see what everybody's up to, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, and I do think that the Murtailer is definitely definitely a force of nature. This this is some incredible work and I'm very impressed. And if I wasn't a tail maker myself, I'm pretty sure that I would be rolling roll into the pool and maybe the electric teal whimsy fantasy tail. That might happen. I don't know. Okay. That's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to join the pod and hit the bell notification as well so you never miss an upload. If you don't want to say goodbye just yet, be sure to swim on over to patreonpod.com, our extended pod community. For as little as a dollar a month, you gain access to our monthly mermaid tail coloring challenge, our behind the scenes Discord chat, our private monthly live stream, the behind the scenes feed where I post all kinds of good stuff, and more. And we would love to have you join us. Otherwise, I I want to thank you again for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Happy swimming! Bye!